One of the most unfair, frustrating, and completely BS game modes in the history of gaming is hidden away in a mid-2000s baseball game. And when I say gaming, I mean gaming, not sports gaming or some other subgenre. I am prone to exaggeration, but I am 100% serious. This shit had me feeling like Anthony Richardson at points. The game mode is called This Week in Baseball Challenge, where you are dumped into moments that happened in the 2003 baseball season, but instead of recreate them, you have to do the opposite. There are 21 challenges to complete and they are separated by five tiers. Your job in this scenario is to catch that foul ball with Alu. This time, the fans will stay in their seats. I know that ain't who I think it is. Whoa, they got the man of faith in this game. The first challenge, you are not in one of the blank capitals of the world, you are in Chicago. This is the Steve Bartman game, a game in which Steve Bartman, a fan, interfered with Moises Alou catching a foul ball in the stands that he never would have caught anyway, fight me. You know, it's kind of funny, Steve Bartman was way ahead of his time. They wanted to publicly execute this dude back in the day for this, but today a fan can physically rip a ball out of a player's glove while looking like the Mucinex booger monster and he gets complimentary ESPN articles and podcast invites and whatnot. Anyway, so your job is to catch the foul ball by scaling the wall. After a couple of tries of doing this, it becomes abundantly clear what you've gotten yourself into. All-Star Baseball 2004, at least in terms of the actual gameplay, sucks harder than the cupping marks on an athlete's back. It's horrendous, and I'm not looking at this through a modern lens. Even in 2004 standards, it sucked, and it was way worse than its contemporaries. The game is ugly, and I will concede that this monstrosity you're looking at right now is due to emulation error, but everything else is fair game. The game is just janky. Smoke. Caught. Baseballs are never really fielded. The ball always goes by the glove, but then teleports into the glove. This happens every single time. Not to mention fielders always squat like a girl peeing. I mean, what else am I supposed to call this? What is you doing? In terms of gameplay, the game does this ambitious thing where you are controlling the fielder in a third person perspective. As soon as the batter makes contact, the game will abruptly switch to the nearest fielder, which is disorienting on its own, but if it's a ground ball up the middle, it will cut to the pitcher first, since he's technically the closest fielder, but then quickly cut to the next closest fielder as it passes by the pitcher. The cuts happen so fast, you'd think this was a Jenna Marbles video. Also, the camera is so bad, you can't see anything. Finally, getting back to this challenge, you can't see where the ball is, only where the ball will land, which is indicated by a Soviet red star. So you have to just blindly guess when the right time to jump is. No, no, nope, uh-uh, nope. Come on, damn, ah, <laughs> ba -ba -boo Okay, I finally got it. Did I mention that this mode has no restart option? So each time you fail, you go through about 30 seconds of loading screens just to get back into this challenge that has about six seconds of gameplay. What a great deal. The next challenge, you have to come back as the Phillies from a two-run deficit. This is where the hitting rears its ugly head. It makes no sense. You use this cursor to overlap the ball, then swing. But the thing is, is that the results are completely random. There are times where I completely cover the ball and it's just a harmless fly ball or a harmless ground out. And there are times I feel like I miss completely, but I somehow get an extra base hit out of it. I just don't get it. This randomness makes it really difficult to get any consistent offense. Well, I eventually get the lead. Let's go ahead and end this challenge. That pitch mashed. No one is getting this one. Home run. So I eventually get the lead again. Let's close out this challenge. This is number one bullshit. Okay, let's close it out for real this time. That's only the second scenario I've completed and it already feels like I ran a marathon at this point. Now I'm not gonna go into every scenario in detail because this mode has some crazy difficulty inconsistencies. Like we just got a game where we have to make a very difficult catch and come back from a two run deficit. To the next challenge where we're in a tie game and we just have to get a hit with the bases loaded and then we have to close out a game, which isn't too hard. To the first baseman. Bro thought John Cena was covering first or something. Here's a challenge where we have to come back from one run. 
Wes Mailman, this is the replacement for Barry Bonds, who's not in this game due to him not being in the MLBPA. This isn't exclusive to this game at all. All the other games had to replace Bonds. John Dowd in MVP Baseball, Reggie Stalker in Sony's MLB series. That's a pun, by the way. Bonds. Stocks. I did it. It don't make me laugh, but I did it. Joe Young in the MLB 2K series, which combines the names of 49ers quarterbacks Joe Montana and Steve Young. Also, Wes Mailman is the lead designer of these games. Well, anyway, we could just get him out on this fly ball. I hate this fucking game. After having a long talk with the voices in my head, we move on to another challenge where we have to scale the wall again. Any kind of mistake, he'll hit for power. Please! Don't get up. Well, we do it in our third try. The next tier is pretty much in cruise control, at least compared to what we've been doing. Multiple comebacks, but it's by a run or two. Still very annoying, especially with no restart options, but we persevere. The next tier after that isn't that bad either. Just a couple of innings pitched and whatnot. This one that rounds out the tier is the most difficult. You have to come back from four runs, but I guess the all-star baseball gods were on my side as I tied it up on my second try. Now we went deep into extra innings with each inning passing by feeling like a game of Russian roulette but all the chambers have a bullet in them. In the 13th inning, we get a seeing eye single and a perfect bunt, followed by a walk-off home run so impressive that the fielder couldn't help but piss himself in the middle of the field. What is you doing? The next tier has us completing a no-hitter and just hitting a home run. That ball belted. That wins the game. Bro, not unless your family is being held by gunpoint and will be slaughtered if you lose, there's no reason for this reaction. Though it is the perfect visual representation of what I'll be going through in a bit. The main one in this tier was coming back from a five run deficit with only two innings to do so. This one tested your boy. They got me trying to bump for hits, man. I'm more desperate than the supposed single ladies in my area. Especially the few balls I hit well are caught because the CPU controlled player in this game is some crazy elite fielder. Keep trying, you can do it. You know what? That's the encouragement I've needed. We score some runs on the most luckiest of hits and bunts. Then Luis Castillo dropped the ball! He dropped the ball! And that brought up Mr. High Heat Baseball himself, Sammy Sosa. So Damn it. In the bottom of the ninth, the baseball gods are still looking out for me. Another error. We get our runner over to third. Bottom of the ninth, two outs. Tying run at third. On the ground, should end the inning. No! I couldn't believe this shit. Looking at the replay, I looked safe. It's hard to tell because this whack ass game has the ball teleport into the glove. So I assume when the ball appears in the glove is when he has it. I don't know. You tell me. I look safe, but does it really matter anyway? Back to the start. I go. We managed to tie it up, bro. What are you even doing? It comes down to Sammy Sosa again. And this time we got that cork in our bat. Get to deep right center field. He ends the game with a walk-off home run. Thus ends another tier. Now, let's talk. You guys are probably watching this from home or on a bus or at the beach. I don't know where y'all at. But you're probably asking yourselves, was I clickbaited? While this stuff is hard, I don't see this being anywhere near impossible. And you'd be right. This stuff has been doable. Frustrating and very, very time consuming, but very doable. That shit is put to a halt in this next tier. There's two scenarios. There's one about a scenario with the Astros or something. I don't, I don't know that I did that. It's easy. There's this other scenario, scenario 19, triple threat. You have to hit a triple with Phil Nevin of the San Diego Padres to complete a cycle. Now, this is difficult because a triple is one of the hardest hits to get in baseball. But it's not even just that. The game starts off in the ninth inning with two outs and Nevin is two batters away, meaning you have to get these next two batters on base in order to even attempt this. And it's not easy. The times I actually got him to the plate, nada. That could be it. Nevin 
Nope. I give up all hope. Until... This could be number two. They give chase, but nothing doing. Home run. Well, a home run is great, but you need a triple. Now, my first solution was to turn the difficulty down to veteran, but... That makes it fucking worse! On all-star and higher difficulty, you have the little batting reticle for hitting, but on veteran, all you can do is just use timing. So you have even less control over what happens while hitting. So each time you swing the bat, it's the equivalent of you playing those little scratch-offs. It's just completely random and up to chance. So I can't even turn the difficulty down. Hey, listen, I tried, but it's either give up here and give up the hours of work on this video or cheat. That's right. We're going to cheat. Yeah, I use save states. But even then, this is still impossible because Nevin's speed rating is terrible. He runs like superhuman. You know, he's just like me because he can't get to third base either. I'm trying my hardest here. I'm trying again and 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 again again and again and again until we're both dead. It's seriously 2 a.m. while I'm trying this. I could be doing so many better things with my time, man. I finally said screw it. I went into the player editor to up Nevin's speed to A+. That should make this easier. One run scored. Rounding third, he heads for home. Out. It doesn't. While I am faster, I just don't have the time to get the third. The only way you can do this is to get an absolute picture perfect hit or have the outfielders misplay the ball, but don't misplay it so bad it's ruled an error, which takes the hit away. But outfielders never misplay anything. They take the perfect angles to the ball and make so many diving catches, you'll go, wow, that'd be impressive if I haven't seen it again and again and again and again and again and again until we're both dead. What kind of challenge is this? Look how long I've been at this. So I said again, screw it, we cheat for a third time. I go into player ratings and make all of the Padres outfielders terrible on defense. Does it work? Loretta is across the plate. Giles rounds third and heads for home. I give up. They still play flawless. Thrown out again. Yeah, this isn't gonna work well. I guess we end our journey Of course, the only way to prosper is the game not working properly. So let's recap. You have to get two straight batters on base, then drive the ball in the gap with the most random hitting that doesn't follow its own rules consistently, then try and get to third with one of the slowest guys on the team, and also hope that you or the base runner in front of you doesn't get thrown out. Even after cheating like crazy, I had to rely on the game just messing up. But you could argue that this isn't even the worst challenge. Scenario 21, Cowboy Down. You think this is funny? In a cosmic sort of way, yes. Well, Mr. Funny Man, is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby- OH MY GOODNESS! Take control of the Marlins in the top of the sixth inning, trailing 20-4, to four, and make an unbelievable comeback to win this game. HELL NO! Now I'm not even going to spend a lot of time on this. I want to ask a perfectly reasonable question. Are these last two challenges even possible by playing completely fair? No safe states, no roster manipulation, just straight up? Well, technically, yes, I suppose, but what are those odds looking like? Like, really? There's no footage of this game mode online, or anyone talking about it at all, to be honest. There's this one guy who tried the first scenario where he had to make the catch with Moises Alou but failed. He probably gave up when he saw what he was in store for later. The only reason I can even cover this is because 8-year-old me can never pass the first scenario. That's the only reason I know of this mode. How many people do you think even completed this when this game came out? Or in general? Well, anyway, I cheated and I completed it. You don't get anything in the end. No congratulations screen, no special message, no nothing. The only thing you get are teams you unlock by completing each tier. But I believe the players on those teams are already accessible. So I guess you're really just unlocking the jerseys. <laughs> Camouflage. I wouldn't want to be seen in this game either. I don't even know how to end this video, so let's just hear Derek Jeter talk. You have to wonder what the architect was thinking, if he was thinking at all. 
Forget about the weird bounces. What about the soggy baseballs? 